back everyone. I'll go and show you exactly how to scan documents on your iPhone SE third generation. And this is a very basic process. There really isn't anything crazy to it. The first thing you want to do is you want to find the document you want to scan. In this case, I'm going to use this iPhone box. I'm hoping it'll work. If it does, then that's great. If not, then I guess we can still do it with a different thing. What you want to do is you want to find the notes icon on your iPhone SE 3. So you can see right here, here's my notes icon right there. And all you want to do is you want to go ahead and hold down on this specific icon. Now when you do that, you'll see a new note, new checklist, new photo, but you'll also see scan document. All you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on that scan document option. You may get into this prompt, you want to go and click out of it. And here is where you can go and configure the document that you want to scan. Now it may go ahead and kind of, you know, automatically start taking stuff. But in this case, what you want to do is you want to bring that document ahead of it. And you just want to go ahead and position this specific document right in the viewfinder of this. Now you can see it just automatically did it. So if I click here, it'll go ahead and show that document as it is. So it's not quite a document, but it is a box of the iPhone. So in this case, what you can do is once it kind of shows, so once it kind of sees the document that you did, you can go and delete the other one if you don't like it. You can still configure and just keep this one. Now, this is where you can go ahead and edit up this specific image. So what I typically do is when I scan a document, I click on the bottom left corner and I go ahead and configure this specific document into something more, a little bit more aligned. So I will go ahead and kind of take these corners, position a little bit better. And then at that point, once it's a little bit better, I think I made it worse, I'll go and click done. And you can also change the filtering on this as well. So you can go and click on the filtering here and you can make it from color to grayscale to black and white and to a photo. So if you want more of a document look, you can go and take it like this and you can go and click done. And this will pretty much what it will be when it lo what it looks like for the most part. So you can go and keep scanning as many documents as you want to, but that's pretty much it. When you're ready, you can go and click done and you can go and click save and it'll go ahead and save it as a note or whatever on your specific device. So that is pretty much how to do it for the most part. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.